So many of you may be familiar with the wig called Editor's Pick by Raquel Welch, but what you might not know is that there is a wig called Editor's Pick Elite. So I want you to stick around because I'm going to give you all the differences between Editor's Pick and Editor's Pick Elite. So I currently have on the regular version of Editor's Pick. And as you can see, it is this really adorable shoulder length wavy bob. There's really not a lot of layering on this wig. It's mostly the same length and with these lovely cascading waves all the way around. It also has this really sweet bang at the front to just add a little bit of interest to it. And it also gets really great volume in the front too. In order for editor's pick to have all this really great volume, they do have quite a bit of permatease going on. There is a section here about the size of my palm uh, with lots of permatease. And there is also permatease up at top and coming down the sides. If you get your fingers in there, you can really get some good volume on editor's pick. I'm going to take the wig off for you so that you can see the cap construction of editor's pick. So what we have here is a lace Front. It's temple to temple and goes all the way to the ear tabs. It also has a single layer monofilament top, which is great for the multi-directional parting. This right here is that permatease I was talking about, right kind of at the crown. So there is quite a bit of permatease here. And the rest of the cap is just a traditional wefted cap. It also has these velvet ear tabs at the sides and you can adjust the wigs um, tightness with these Velcro straps. So now I'm going to go ahead and put on Editor's Pick Elite for you. So Editor's Pick Elite is this one here and it basically has the exact same style. They have done a really good job at maintaining the same style while adding a few extra features to the wig. So to start off with, just like Editor's Pick, the Elite version has a lace front. It's a really beautiful lace front, very natural, quite comfortable. It also has a single layer monofilament top, which allows you that multi-directional parting. Uh, what Editor's Pick Elite does not have is permatease. So I was mentioning how in Editor's Pick, there's quite a bit of permatease going on. Editor's Pick Elite does not really have any at all mostly because this is a hand tied cap instead of a traditional wefted cap. So even though there is no permatease going on in Editor's Pick Elite, they still done a really good job at maintaining that volume in this wig. Editor's Pick Elite still has that short bang at the front here, and it still has all of these cascading waves throughout the whole wig. Now the one main difference I do notice between Editor's Pick and Editor's Pick Elite is that the Elite version is quite a bit more comfortable. And that is all thanks to the hand tied cap that it has going on. So as I said earlier, the Elite version has the lace front and the monofilament top, just like the regular version. It does not have that permatease section I was showing you before as the regular version has. So there's no permatease section there. What the Elite version has is a fully hand-tied cap. So that just means that all of these fibers are um, just sewn on by hand in little clusters. Whereas the regular version does not have that hand-tied component, it's all wefts, meaning that the hair is machine sewn on into rows. Now, if I go back to the Elite version, I mentioned it was all hand tied, but at the nape of the neck, at the back, going up just a bit, and the sides, it does have some wefts, but they've maintained these wefts within this hand tied cap. So the wefts at the bottom coming up are probably what help give Editor's Pick Elite that volume that you do see. Editor's Pick Elite still has these velvet ear tabs as well as the adjustable straps at the nape of the neck. Now, so like I mentioned, the main difference between Editor's Pick and Editor's Pick Elite is the permatease or lack thereof and 
the hand tied cap. Now, when you get a hand tied cap, you're gonna notice a few things. First of all, you're gonna notice the comfort, which I was referring to earlier. Hand tied caps are quite a bit more comfortable. They are a bit stretchier and they just feel, they just feel better. What you're also gonna notice is that with hand tied caps, since the fibers are, are individually sewn on into little clusters, you're gonna get more of a natural movement of the hair. Whereas when they're sewn on into rows in this traditional weft, they don't get that all around movement. They more just get the side to side. Just note that you can see a little bit of difference in style right now, mostly because my editor's pick is about five months old, whereas this editor's pick elite is brand new out of the box. So the curls on this one have fallen a little bit, but it has still maintained a really sweet style. So because editor's pick elite has the hand tied cap, it's going to be a bit more expensive than editor's pick. So keep that in mind when you're deciding on which wig you might prefer. Let me just talk quickly about the colors here. Here I have shaded cappuccino, which is kind of a warm brown base with lots of blonde highlights throughout. And in my editor's pick, this is the color shaded wheat. So shaded wheat is more of a blonde color, but it does have the dark to medium brown root going on that you can see throughout. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if it was, go ahead and like that button and subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can watch a lot more wig reviews and learn different tips and tricks for wig wearing. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.